Now, you guys are not supposed to come in here. You're supposed to go over there and fight the, the siege. That's what I called you for. I didn't call you to come visit me. Oh, they're, they're shooting mortars at us now. Okay. That's not too good. Hey everybody, welcome back! Falcon, RimWorld Zombie Apocalypse. We have a really, really good thing going on, honestly. I feel that we have a nice, pretty setup, like we have a lot of people. I still have to rename a lot of them, mind you. I'm sorry, I'll do that after this set of recordings, though. Forgive me if I'm taking my time here. But I will be doing some of those renames soon, because we have a lot of people that we've been adding to the base, and a lot of people that want to get involved with the colony, and I understand your anxiety, or not really anxiety, but your anxiousness to actually join the colony itself, so... I will be doing some renames really soon. Let me haul this off since we have the chance. Anything else over here that we could haul off? Well, we could haul this off. I'd rather not haul that off. And that could stay there. As a matter of fact, let's just make the dumping stockpile zone there so it doesn't get moved by mistake. And while we're at it, make this a... no bodies. Alrighty. So let's get there. We need to start rebuilding a few of the things that we lost here, so I guess we have to do that. And we also need to set up some lamps over here because these people are complaining about the darkness, so... This is going to be the the course of action for this episode, I guess. Just kind of um, prettifying the base a little bit, making sure these people aren't tripping balls. So, now that we've done this, maybe I'm going to say we could probably start doing some no roof. Actually, I want to leave this roof. I don't want them to be eating under the rain sometimes, you know? Although a little outside area wouldn't be nice. To, it wouldn't be bad to eat either. Can I actually even do no roof over here? It's a real question. So, create no roof? Oh, actually does work. Okay. So what if we did that? So instead of just giving you lamps, we could just give you, you know, no roof and there you go. I guess these walls were built for nothing then. <laughs> Typical Falcon. Um, but again, not everything is completely not roofed over, right? Oh, I could no roof this too. Well, there you go. Makes it a lot easier now, doesn't it? So never mind. Let me set this up like so. And place you like that. Okay. Now, is there anything else? I can no roof this now, too. Yeah, I guess I will. Okay. This needs to stay, though, because that, you know, otherwise it will short circuit. The stone cutter stable doesn't require a roof either, so we could probably remove the roof there, too, right? <clears throat> yeah. So let's do that. That's pretty good. Now, create no roof. No, that is because of this little mountain over here, so that's understandable. Same with this area here. Alright, but otherwise, we're looking a little bit better in terms of lighting, hopefully. Now, when it's dark, that's when they might complain when it's nighttime, but at least for now, hopefully it'll kind of curb the issues a little bit. Is there anything going on over here that I should be worried about? Duck still hasn't died, which worries me just because I'm going to forget about it and he's going to turn into a zombie and come after us. Same thing with Lucky, the artist over here. Are there any zombies left over here? Um, there's a few. <laughs> These, um, visitors have been dealt by those zombies, though, but... Alrighty. So, there's still a few zombies here we need to get rid of, though. What is this? Another escape pod? Who is this now? Who are you? You are Hilda, the clerk. Let's find out about Hilda here. Mining 9? Not a bad fighter, a uh, bad fighter, but... Mining could be really important. Social and steadfast? Sure, we'll grab Hilda as well. I don't think we have enough room for Hilda as a problem. Oh, we might, though, because we, because we recruited Gorar just now. So, Gorar, welcome aboard. <clears throat> Melee 7? Perfect. So, we all know what we're going to make you. No questions asked. I have no good melee weapons right now, which is my only concern. But come over here for now. And then, Croyo, let me have you capture Hilda. Let's forward this a little bit. Alright, hurry up, melee dude. Get those legs pumping. Alrighty, so... <clears throat> let's give you the power armor. Did you grab the power armor? Where is this guy at? Oh, there he is, Gorar. I got him confused with the other dude. Alrighty, so power armor up and running. We have no hats for you, unfortunately, but let's give you some... Devil Strand Pants. Hey. Hey, you. I'm not sure who I just assigned this to. Reserved by... What does that say? Smiley face? Okay. Let's keep an eye on whoever's going to equip that, because I don't want them equipping that. They already probably had something better. Can you wear the duster as well? No. That makes sense. So, you just need a shirt now, huh? Oh, dude, we have no Devil Strand shirts, huh? That's really unfortunate. So, I guess for now, you're going to have to wear 
Mm, just wear the pink one. Like a total boss. Uh, no Motel, what are you doing? I'm not sure. Croyo is the guy that I did that with, unfortunately. Croyo? What happened to the... Oh, we already rescued Hilda. I thought Croyo was going to rescue Hilda. Oh, he was. <laughs> he just dropped her in the middle of his action. My bad, Hilda. My bad. Okay. So this is still a stockpile, right? It totally is. We need to um, fill up these gaps with a little bit of a few rocks in here. I almost want to consider even making this um, sandbag territory just because they seem to have a little bit more resistance in the rocks and then the rocks are gonna constantly be being destroyed now. So... makes me wonder. Makes me wonder a little bit. Rock slam chunks are 300. Slag chunk is 300. This is 300 and this is 300. Yeah, okay. So if we can, let's see about... Yeah, I guess we'll probably move some sandbags there. Is that the best idea? I'm still up in the air about it. I do know that we need to plug that up regardless of which. So what if we... Dumping stockpile, this is normal, right? Um... Let's see here. I guess we just move these rock chunks from this side. As well. Um... There's a few more in here. Okay, let's actually haul these guys off then. I'm being really hesitant about my decision, I apologize. Okay, so, there you go. That should be moved in there. Perfect, that's where I wanted it to be moved. You guys are fixing stuff. Keep fixing. I guess we could probably rebuild our doors now, right? Oh, there comes a zombie. Good thing I wasn't too far away from it because I would have forgotten. Wild Coyote, let's have you deal with the zombie, my friend. Now, don't get bitten, alright? That's going to be the worst thing imaginable if you get bit. Good. Wow, well, Cody's like, fuck that falcon, I don't get bitten. Well, good. Good for you. Um, can you... Yeah, haul this dude off, since he's here. Alright, so no more zombies in the immediate future, right? Yeah, everybody over here is already dead as it is. We're gonna have to deal with Lucky at some point, as well as Hendrix. What are you guys just doing here, just hanging out? You guys are so fucking weird. <laughs> he's having a chat? Oh, you see that zombie? Oh yeah, man, I popped the food bullets in his head. Fuck that zombie. Alright, so we're still fixing stuff. Excellent. I guess we should might as well start rebuilding this. And we got, oh, we got Leots already. Leots. Alright, let's find out about Leots here really quickly. Crafting, melee. Alright, so we have another melee person as well. I'm liking the sound of that. I don't have many good melee weapons, but I like the idea of having just random people. S besiegement. That's not good. And I'll tell you why right now, because, um, we have no mortars. Now, mind you, it's not that big of a siege. This is actually not too bad at all. If we had zombies, though, um, it'd probably be better. So, because we have no mortars, which I, by the way, I know I probably have a lot of comments telling me to do that. I actually, the reason why I was kind of unroofing this area too is because I want to build a few mortars here just for when we get big zombie raids coming out on us. We could probably preemptively attack them from afar, at least a few shots, because mortars are very inconsistent in terms of the accuracy and how often they shoot. So I, I do want to set it up just as an in case, but I really don't rely on them too much. And luckily this isn't as big as a siege as I thought it would be, all things considering. So what I'm going to do... You know what I, I almost feel like... You know what I feel like? I feel like dropping some silver and calling for reinforcements so we don't have to deal with that ourselves. I don't think that's a bad idea, so how about Nindava? Let me wake you up here for a second. And, oh, dude, I forgot about the food trader from the last episode, when it ended. Alright, let me come in here really quickly. And see, I mean, they probably don't have... Oh, medicine would be nice, though. Alright, let me buy some medicine. Doesn't cost too much, either. Oh, good. Nice. Let me buy all this medicine off of you. 746 is really good to pay for 45 meds. Um, and we could sell some of the stuff that we have, which we will. So, let's sell this off, and let's also sell this off. Let's keep on to the Devil Strand Pants because we're running a little bit low on equipment now. Short bows, we don't need them at all. Peelers, we don't need them. Um, muffle other pants, nope. Nope. Synthread t-shirt, eh. Actually, you know what, we might want to keep on to the Synthread shirts because we're running out of Devil Strands as well. This could go. Hyperweave, tribal wear, eh. Might as well sell that too. We're almost about to cap up how much money they have, so we're gonna have to buy something from them really soon. Sell this, sell that. Sell some of these pistols, and that's it. They're almost out of money, so we're gonna have to buy something off of them soon. Boomerad could go. You do have a power armor helmet. Huh. 
I just haven't seen it there. Dramedy, yeah, that could be sold. Great Bull could be sold. That's probably it in terms of money, right? Yeah, we have to buy something from them now. So what if we were to buy... You guys have slaves? You do. Okay. Oh, prosthetic arm. It's actually just a simple one, though. Hmm. Maybe I'll get it, maybe not. We'll see. Now, in terms of who they have, they have Worm the Abandoned. Let's see about this dude. Melee 6, Cooking 5, Crafting 8, Nervous, eh, not too crazy, I'm not too sold on him just yet. Uh, the Barkeep, Melee 11, oh, here we go, and Brawler as well. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna definitely get him. So, yeah, let's grab him. Um, Basculio the Loner, how much of a loner are you? Melee 9, Shooting 6, Growing 10, Too Smart and Green Thumb, I kinda like this dude a lot. So there we go. Now, how much are we looking at here? 17? Good. We can sell a bit more now. So we'll do... Let's keep the clubs just because, you know, we need some form of melee weapon, even though it's not the best one. We'll sell this. We will sell that. Sell this. Molotov cocktails. Let me hold on to those just in case. Um, M24s. We have a lot of them, but might as well keep them. And squirrel. Clothing. We'll keep the synth red shirts because, again, we're running out of Devil Strand anyway. We'll keep the duster. Cobra Skin could go away, Boomerang could go away, and Plot Duster, this could go, Power Armor we keep, Synth Red Duster we'll keep just in case, and let's see here. You guys have a M16, huh? Do I need to buy that? They also have a light machine gun. No, no, I think we're fine. So, our food is down to 401 right now. Why is that? Because we have a lot more people now, so you know what? It probably would be the worst thing to actually invest in some food off of these people. So yeah, let's actually grab... I mean, we have the money for it anyway. We're going to get a lot of money coming to us right now from them. So yeah, let me grab all this. And do we want to do a gob or berries? Let's do the berries, I guess. Okay. And maybe like 500 or so. You know, let's just take everything. We're still gonna get money back, and if anything, I could probably sell some of these extra... I mean, we have a lot of M24, so I could even sell, like... I'll sell four? And we're still gonna get 1300 back, so yeah, that's a good deal. Alright, so we got two extra people now, so we need to call on his bed. But now what I wanted to do is Nindaba, before you run off too far, where did Nindaba go? She is, like, the fastest fucking person of all time. She was just there. Nindaba? Oh, you're in here now. Okay, come back here, and what I want to do is actually call for help, is what I wanted to do. So, factions. Who is okay with me? Nobody really. Um, who is attacking me right now? We need enemies of these people, which is, um... Fearful monkeys. Okay, fearful monkeys. I am indeed fearful of those monkeys. So, Nindava, you come over here and... Actually, wait a minute. Many factions. So enemies of Fearful Monkeys is going to be Troto, but they're hostile towards us right now. But everybody's actually enemies to the Fearful Monkeys. Well, everybody but this people. Oh. <laughs> everybody but the Fearful Monkeys are on hostile terms with them. So we could either call Bonzo of Call of Duty or Small Town Planes. Um, Bonzo would be actually cheaper because it's already at negative 27. So yeah, let's do Bonzo of Call of Duty. It's probably not going to be too much of a reinforcement, but it's something just to kind of break them off from, you know, attacking us too much. So let's have you come over here. <clears throat> so we're going to give 300 silver. 300 silver. And do it again. Do it again. Oh boy, come on. All right, here we go. Request for immediate aid is going to give us negative 25 goodwill, which is fine. So let's do request immediate aid now. Okay, so they're going to show up and hopefully help us out a little bit here. Disconnect. We drop down from 4,000 to 25. I don't think that's a bad trade-off. Was this them? Are they dead already? Oh, there's a sword over here. Oh, dude, I want that sword. Where are the people? Oh, they're there. They're here. Okay. They're just tribes people, too. <laughs> okay, that's not really the best reinforcement around. So, do we want to invest in anybody else? Eh, not quite. Not quite. I feel like that was actually a waste of money and I really consider it and think about it. I don't know. Who else was it? Was it the 
Small town at the plane? Let me go to the small town at the plane. Uh, 300, huh? Okay. So let's try this again. Try it again. It's gonna be all of our money, dude. So that's already 900 silver. That's 1,200. 1,500. 1,800. 2,100. And then here we go. We could request for immediate aid. And we're gonna do that. Alright, so we're gonna have two different factions coming to give us a hand. We're completely out of money. Thunder striking all over the place right now, which is a little bit terrifying. Alright, so here they are. Alright, and these actually are people with um, good weaponry too, so it's not like it's going to be rocks and sticks and shit. So hey, thank you for that. Now, what we do is... Do we want to go out there and give them a helping hand? I'm considering it. But let them deal with it first and we'll see what happens. We'll probably deal with the riffraff. Assuming it comes down to it. Alright, so for now we need to take care of the fires though around the house. Oh no, no, don't lose, don't lose the comms console. Thank you. Okay, now we're... They're already dead? Oh, that was money well spent. Wasn't it? Tucker Buster, where are you going? You're gonna beat fire out from this side. Oh, um, you know what? That's Don't even worry about that too much, my friend. We should probably remove the zone region from over here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, don't worry about that fire, Tucker. You're fine. So, let's recruit you. Have you forget that my way joining and you're probably doing the same thing, huh? Let's forget that. And Dava, same thing. All right, the fires out here though do deal with those. Those are kind of important. So everybody they called for is dead already, huh? Well, that's okay because here's what I figure: once they die, they're gonna reanimate into zombies, and then the zombies will attack them. Now you guys are not supposed to come in here. You're supposed to go over there and fight the, the siege. That's what I called you for. I didn't call you to come visit me. Oh, they're they're shooting mortars at us now. Okay, that's not too good. Zombies? Are you gonna reanimate anytime soon? I could really use your help. My zombie defense force, man, is not there anymore. Okay, let's send a few people out here. Now then, Johnny, you're melee, so that's not going to work out. Neither are you. But here is where my long-range people come into play. Red Claw, I do believe you used to have the M24, right? So let's have you come over here and grab an M24 again. You're going to come out here and have some fun. A Bruno? What do you have? You have nothing. Did you have a weapon beforehand? Shooting five? Uh, you know, not really worth it, I don't think. But... You know, desperate times fall, call for desperate measures, so let's come and give you the M24 as well. Okay, so. No, 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 no. You guys are gonna militarize? Now, let's make sure there's not gonna be any zombies on the way here. No. But these people will be reanimating kinda soon, so we have to make sure that if we do attack these guys, they go after the raiders and not us. Okay, so. Any more... M24 people, Edward, and Amos. Perfect. Both of you guys come over here and give me a hand as well. Place you like over here for now. Okay, so zombie time. Please happen already. Alright, so, Abruño, do you have any shots? Oh, you definitely do. So, Abruño, you start shooting, I would say, <laughs> at the Booze King. Jesus, he's got an M24 as well, so we gotta be careful with the Booze King. Although, since he's a boozing, he's probably pissed shit drunk, so what are the chances he actually hits us? Alright, so you go over there, then you post up over here, and you also, Red Claw, shoot at the Booze King. He's big, he's our biggest concern right now because he has an M24, so he could fuck us up as much as we can fuck him up. Did he hit already? It seems like he landed that shot. Oh, nice shot, Red Claw, alrighty. A Bruno, now that he's done with. Let's go and have you attack this escapee. And Red Claw, you shoot at... Oh, might as well shoot at the escapee as well. I guess I could have you guys move forward a little... Oh! M24 guy. So let's shoot at Ian. If sh Ian can shoot at us, then it means that we can shoot back at him. Alright, so be careful. Let's not get one shot killed here. This could be it. Okay, Red Claw took the shot, but he, he survived. Oh, you fucking move. What a piece of shit. Well, there's a few fires there, too, which is good. I should give us a little bit of a helping hand. Edward? You have a shot on who? 
I'm not sure, but let's fight um, at J because he has the M24 and that's what really worries me the most. And then you come over here, Amos, and you sh also shoot at J. We need to get rid of J because he's at the M24 and that's what worries me significantly. Fire here and then you fire here. Now, if these zombies animate anytime soon, we need to run as soon as possible. Red Claw? Jesus Christ, Red Claw got taken down already. N24s are way too powerful sometimes. Oh, zombie reanimated. Alright, Red Claw, I'll get you soon, man. Don't worry. Oh, we barely missed that one. That sucks so bad. Alright, um, somebody needs to come over here and rescue Red Claw. Preferably none of my snipers. Oh, God, everybody's so far away. Alrighty, Skos, Skose the barkeep. Uh, you're going to have to come over here and rescue him. Edward, do you have any shots? You're attacking Jay still. Are you? No, he's out of your range now. So fire at who? Fire at this pirate here, I guess. And then a Bruno. You can't fire at him. So we wait. Amos, do you have any shots? No. No shots, unfortunately. We need to get that mortar dude out of the way as well. Now, are they doing any work over here on us, or are we okay for the most part? It seems like we're okay for the most part. I like how I call these people for help instead of going out there and fighting, they're just over here waiting from around with me. It's like, oh, what's happening here? Oh, they're firing mortars at you, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that sucks a bit, huh? Yeah, it does. I would help you out, but, you know, we just have sticks and stones. <laughs> Good call on saving us. Trigger's still alive over here, by the way. Oh, zombies are happening. Zombie, don't come after me. Come after, go after them. Zombie. All right, Amos, you're gonna have to take care of the zombie then. Or someone is. All right, you guys move back. Let's put this in real time. Red Claw, don't worry, man. We'll we'll get to you soon. This is actually quite problematic now, isn't it? All right, good shot, good shot, Amos. Alrighty, so that's been taken care of. We at least moved them out of their comfort zone a little bit. I hope. Uh, Red Claw is still going to be rescued by Scoo, so we have, just have to wait. We actually got Jay-Z back. Was Jay-Z one of my snipers as well? I don't quite remember. Let's see here. Mining 15, shooting 5? No, not quite. Alright, so for now, let's just have you do whatever while I'll keep you later. Right now I'm kind of busy. <laughs> Bigger things to do. Um, let's see here. Amos, uh, what are you going to do, dude? Not sure. Let's get you back up here soon. Is this guy? This guy should reanimate to a zombie soon, right? And shoots a, shoots a, some of their comrades should as well. But again, these guys are kind of holding on the fort right there pretty well. Amos, are you aiming at anybody? Fire at this dude, if you may. Then send you over here. Edward will send you like over here. All we need is to land one shot because we know how OP the tw M24 is anyway, right? A Bruno. Fire at this guy. Edward, fire over here. We just need to hit a few of these shots and we should be okay. God damn it. Of course, when we shoot them, we never hit. We got Clayton as well. All right, Clayton, we'll deal with you soon. Nope, oh, zombie reanimating. Get some bites in. Okay, we got a kill, I think. Zombie doing his thing. All right, the zombie went down. A Bruno, any shots here? Yeah, you got the shot on Marine and then... Amos? Marine? Edward? Let's shoot the researcher if we can. <clears throat> Alright, so they're at least a little bit troubled now because of the whole zombie thing. So, at the very least, we have that going on, and they're not retaliating. Oh, hey, thanks for the help, guys. Yeah. Nice uh, nice of you to drop by and just visit us. Meanwhile, we were over here getting bombarded. Okay, we landed a few more shots. So as long as they just hang out there, we should be okay. Just gotta actually hit Landy's shots though, that would be amazing. Come on. Alrighty, there's a few of them down. Fire at the Marine. Amos, what are you gonna do? Fire at the Quack. And then Edward. You can actually fire all the way back over here. Maybe not anymore, because he moved. So fire at the Researcher, I guess. They're not shooting mortars at us, I don't think, though, right? Or maybe they are. 
But if they are, it doesn't seem like it's causing much of an issue in our base over here. So this whole, I guess, sniper defense isn't too bad. Oh, I think we took care of um, the Marine. So now we just have this dude and then Eisen over here. Oh, there they go. Alrighty, so we're going to call it an episode here. We're going to deal with the rest of this next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We got the tough part out of the way, which is getting them out of their comfort zone. I will catch you next time.